So your memory from this morning? Yeah, we're doing another haul because I realized that tomorrow is a holiday and I cannot wait 36 hours, 48 hours to get these few things that I need. So I'm headed back out to Superstore. If you haven't seen my Costco haul, this is the first time you're seeing my face in this outfit. Hey, what's up? I'm Vanessa. Welcome back to my channel. I am just getting ready to head out to my local grocery store just to grab a few stock up items. I just did a huge $600 Costco order, so go check that out first. And I'm about to get all the fillers that I need for meals for the week. So let's go. Hello. It's like you know I'm getting ready to film. You're just a crazy guy. You say hi? Say hi? Okay. All right. All right. All right, so I just ran down to Superstore. That's our local grocery store here. I didn't do Walmart today. I'm exhausted and I just couldn't do it. It's a whole other thing when I go to Walmart. So I'm gonna start down at this end. I grabbed a loaf of bread. We like the Italiano. I like that it's thick. It's good for sandwiches. It's good for French toast. So I grabbed that, but I did grab just a regular loaf of sourdough because I bought a bunch of avocados from my Costco haul. If you guys haven't seen the Costco haul, go check that out before you watch this one. But this is the best bread to make avocado toast on. It's just more durable. I do prefer like the long loaf with longer slices, but this is all that they had today. It was kind of slim pickings. Like I couldn't find green onions. I couldn't find anything today. So I grabbed this because I like this even just for a peanut butter and jam sandwich. And I am trying, believe it or not, I'm going to start to try to eat better. I know that's funny as the words are coming out of my mouth, but we're trying. Uh, speaking of, I did see a big bag of these at Costco, but I didn't want to buy them because I didn't want a giant bag of them. But now that I see like this bag is not that big, right? Like, yes, I have big hands, but this was $5.49. So if I like these, I'm going to go back and just grab those at Costco because I think it's worth it. I think they'd be good with hummus just as kind of a healthy snack. The ingredients are pretty good in them. Uh, yeah, everything looks really good. The sugars are low, fiber, yeah, protein, lots of protein in them. So I grabbed those to try. They have flavored ones too, but I just wanted to get the plain ones. I, got, I grabbed this as, or on a whim. This is a pasta salad mix because I did buy some really cute, <laughs> look at me just showing you everything I bought today. Little Easter pasta from Marshalls yesterday. I'm gonna show you guys that in a vlog haul, don't worry. Uh, but this is a pasta salad mix that I thought maybe I could try and just make a little one Maybe use half that package and give it a shot. I also grabbed this because we are going to be making chili this week And I like to use this and I like to use a can of chili just as a little help for my own seasonings that I like to add uh, I splurged I used to buy this more often. I think it was $8.99 when I used to buy it now. It's $10.99 the last time I bought the Costco one, it's okay, it's really good, but it's too big and I couldn't get through it. I don't eat enough of it to warrant buying that much. So I grabbed this one, it's pretty pricey and it's not even my favorite, but it's the only one I can get my hands on. The PC, President's Choice brand, they have one as well, but it's not always available. So I grabbed this one. If I happen to go into town, where we have a Korean market, I may go in and grab a jar of their homemade stuff, but until then, I splurged. <laughs> uh, I grabbed this as well. Again, just trying to eat a little bit healthier. I want to do up a few little like pre-made snack things this week. Hey, enough, enough. Every time I do groceries, every time, go lay down, go. They know it too. It's like they know I'm distracted. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I like the hummus that doesn't have any like uh, stuff in the middle, oil and stuff. I'm very basic and boring, so I always love this PC garlic, roasted garlic hummus. It's so, so good. It's going to be really good with those. I also grabbed the pico de gallo. This is a little pricey, but it's kind of like a treat. Jamie and I really, really like it. It's just good to scoop it up just like this with Tostitos are probably good with those too. So I grabbed that today. It was two for eight, but... It was only gonna save me like 30 cents if I bought another one. And sometimes it's not always a deal just cause you see a sales sticker. <laughs> um, I grabbed some sour cream because chances are we're gonna have tacos or something this week. I also wanna try and make carne asada tacos. I bought some beef at Costco. So stay tuned for that. I could not find corn tortillas today though. Not white, not yellow, not any. So grab that. Also grab this. Last time I only bought like half this size, but I grabbed this one because I've been eating one or two a day. I really like them with the cracked black pepper and olive oil crackers. I bet it's going to be good with those. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I want to try it out. Plus I've seen people like spread this out on a wrap and stuff for sandwiches. So I'm going to give it a go. 
I grabbed these on a whim. I don't even know if Jamie's gonna like them, but I grabbed them. I thought he could throw them in his lunch as an emergency if he got starving. Uh, this one is the lemon pepper with crackers. And this one is just, uh, yeah, six crackers and a spoon, just the classic. So he likes tuna. It's not really my thing, but I grabbed them. I thought he might like them. Uh, okay, so I was supposed to get rice at Costco. I don't have a bin big enough to store it in yet. I don't even think I have anything big enough to store this rice in, but this was only nine something, which is significantly cheaper than, do I have the other bag around me? No, let me see. Let's see if we can find this bag because, uh, oh, this was like seven or eight dollars, this little bag, and I got three servings out of it because I usually make two cups of white rice at a time, right? So this one was significantly less and, superior quality so we're going with that i'm learning that you shop in the international food aisle stuff is a lot more affordable so i grab this i'm going to see if i have some sort of container i think i have like an old uh container that you can put cereal in and stuff i bet that would work maybe i'll do that so i'm very excited about my rice find i want to get one of those big rolling bins and be able to stick it under there and get that on Amazon, but I just, I don't have the extra 60 bucks to spend on that right now. So this is what we have. And actually, no, I thought it was sealable. It's not. Uh, I'm cutting back on the oat milk and we're going back to the lactose free natural, which is what we used to buy a few years ago, but some people were getting a little sensitive, but I think we're getting okay again. So we're gonna try this just because we all prefer the taste, but the oat milk, I mean, it, it suffices when you need it to. Speaking of the international food aisle, I grabbed these pineapple slices. They're only $3.49 for this huge can. So I was like, why are they so cheap? So I'll keep you posted. Let you know what we think about these. Sweetened, it's in a light syrup. Usually when I buy my fruit, I like it in water, but this is for Jamie, so he doesn't really care. Uh, I grabbed these, the extreme bean. We usually get the hot and spicy ones, but I grabbed the garlic and dill this time. Just again, I'm just trying to have some alternative snacks in the fridge, things like this that aren't immediately just chips and granola bars and whatever candy we just bought. So I'm just trying to have more options, satisfy those cravings because I am happy to say I have been putting on weight, thank God, for the first time in four years. But now it won't stop coming. So we need to work on that. <laughs> but yeah, I grabbed these. Uh, the boys really like them, so I think they'll go over well. I grabbed a green pepper. This was like two something, I think, or not even $2. So I was pretty impressed because I was expecting to pay like $4 because that's usually what they cost. But grab this to put into our chili. Let me know if you like veggies in your chili. We just do celery, green peppers, and mushrooms, and canned tomatoes. That's it. All right, this was a very exciting find. I follow um, Mel, Mel BZ TV, or anyway, she's on TikTok too, which I follow more, more than her vlogs now, it seems. She's always eating these, and I think these are the same kind of little chili peppers you get at In-N-Out. I'm on the East Coast in Canada. There's no In-N-Out, nor have I ever been to an In-N-Out. But I always see people like bite the tips off and then squirt the juice on their burger, whatever they're eating, and then eat the rest. Apparently they're very hot and spicy, <laughs> but I'm super excited. I just wanna try them. I have been looking for these, literally. They just showed up today, so very excited about that. I feel like that would be good with like avocado toast or something, or maybe I'm crazy. Maybe, I'm probably crazy. I uh, grabbed, whoops, Swiss LA chicken noodle soup. Jamie says we tried this before, I don't remember, but we're gonna try it again. I like it, I think it's like $3 a can though, so it adds up. I probably should have got the sodium reduced one, but I did not. I got a can of chili accents, the chili seasonings, little diced tomatoes. Oh my God, I'm shaky. Uh, yeah, Almer accents, chili seasoning, tomatoes, that's gonna be for the chili. Uh, a can of red kidney beans, that's the French side, sorry. <laughs> and also grabbed two cans of pieces and stems mushrooms. They're kind of our, our, like a staple, not our favorite, it's a staple in my cupboard. And I know I'm gonna use at least, at least one for the chili, so I just wanna have a backup. Plus I was in the grocery store and didn't check and can't remember if we have them already, so I went ahead and did that. And I always put a can of chili in my chili, and it's usually this one, the hot one, it kind of helps give it a little kick and that's where the heat comes from. Uh, did I already do this one? No, I did grab celery. I'm kind of embarrassed at what I paid for this and don't even want to put the price up. Just don't look, don't look. <laughs> but it's all there was, like I'm telling you, it was slim pickings, but it's really beautiful celery. I'm gonna do it up right away in the fridge so it doesn't go bad, put it in some water. But I want it for snacking with the hummus and I want it for my chili, so it's all good. 
Uh, we were out of hard shell tacos. I wanted to get corn tortillas too to try to make the carne asada street tacos, but that didn't work out. But I did grab these just to have on hand. I like them in the cupboard because it's great for a last minute meal. And last but not least, Mr. Noodle spicy chicken bowls. Every time I go to get these, they're never available, so I was just excited they had them today. They're just really good. You can get them in like the ramen cup style too, or this one. This one is spicier, I don't know. I just really like these big bowls. They're fun to have. They were two something each, I grabbed two. I figured it would be a good treat, but here's everything I got. Guys, I spent $125. that is everything guys as you can tell by looking at me I'm pretty disheveled that's two grocery hauls in one day which is way more peopling than I like to do on a daily basis so if you guys enjoyed the video please go ahead and subscribe give it a big thumbs up click the notification bell so you know every time I'm gonna post a new video I'm not sure when I'm gonna put this one up I don't think it's gonna go up the same day as the Costco one but probably on the Monday <laughs> alright you guys I hope you have a fantastic week ahead of you and I love you all so stinking much and I'll see you in the next video bye for now Goodbye.